ओम साई राम ओम साई रक्षक सरणम देवा डियर साई डिवोटीज प्लीज लिजन एंड एंजॉय येट अंदर लीला ऑफ साई इट इज द प्रोमिस दट बाबा गिव्स हिज डिवोटीज दैट ही शेल प्रोटेक्ट देम एंड एवर बी विद देम इन देयर आवर ऑफ नीड ही डज नॉट रिक्वायर एनी मोड ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट टू रीच द डिवोटी द अदर फैक्ट दट बाबा ट्राई टू इम्प्रेस अपॉन ऑल हिज डिवोटीज इज दैट He is present in all creations of universe. He can take any form and can make his presence felt anywhere and at any time. We all know that a mother tortoise always has its loving glances on its young ones even though she is on the other side of the bank of a river. The tortoise glance is to the young ones the only source of sustenance and happiness. Similar is the relation between guru and devotees wherever we may be baba's loving glances are always on us this information has been taken from chapter 18 of shri sai satcharitra narrating to you a sai leela is sunanda from chennai now i wish to share a divine experience of sai's presence when he visited me a few years back at my home dear devotees Please listen to my experience and dive deep into Sai's love. It was a hot summer afternoon in the year 2007. It was a Thursday as well. It has been my habit to prepare kheer otherwise known as payasam and offer to Baba as naivedyam after puja. That afternoon I completed all my domestic chores and had to go out to attend to some personal work. so i took my scooter outside the gate turned around to close the gate as i turned back towards the scooter after closing the gate i got scared to see a 6 feet tall gentleman wearing a long kurta and a short dhoti inside standing face to face very near me he was very fair complexioned had a bright and radiant face and a long white beard I was in a state of shock because when I turned to close the gate there was no one on the road and in a split second some stranger stand so close to me actually the road was totally deserted I composed myself and took a close look at him he looked exhausted and his face appeared red maybe due to the heat he offered his pranams to me saying sai ram i reciprocated but did not understand how he knew i was a sai devotee i was standing there with confusion written on my face i recovered from the shock after he wished sai ram i asked him he wanted some water to drink he accepted to have some water actually at that time i was reminded of baba's words when any person comes to your doorstep in the afternoon time offer him food and water So I asked the old man if he would like to eat some food. He agreed to have some curd rice. I invited him inside and offered him food. I served him food in the living room because from his appearance he looked like a Muslim fakir. I considered myself to be belonging to a higher caste. During that period I have to admit dear devotees that my devotion and faith towards sai was still at a foundation stage and not too staunch while i was still contemplating within me about his caste and creed i saw him performing an act which is usually done in brahmin homes by the male members just before they begin their meal this is called pariseshanam that is offering water around the food three times before it is partaken then he ate three pinches of rice along with ghee as part of the parisheshana process i was spell bound all my doubts were quelled after finishing the parisheshana he told me his name it was a hindu name and also showed me his cross belt the sacred thread and a spatika mala around his neck he said he was from bangalore and was a brahmin by birth i was quite ashamed of myself and my cheap thoughts but what is what intrigued me was how could he read my mind i never asked him any questions 
After all this drama, he explained to me that he lost his baggage while he was on his way back from Tirupati and needed money to buy his tickets back to Bangalore. What puzzled me once again was, my house is quite far away from the railway station and it is not possible for him to have strayed away and reached my home. He could have gone to any other house for collecting his fare. Why did he choose to come to this house this far? After lunch, he thanked me for the food I offered and blessed me with good health, peace and prosperity. I offered him some money which covered a part of his ticket fare. He then left my house and went to another house, a third house from my home. They too were Sai devotees. While I saw him entering the house, I decided to intercede and tell the landlady to help him with the remaining train fare. When I asked the old man the cost of the ticket, he said rupees 108. Please remember the number 108. It totals to rupees 9. It is Baba's number. That lady obliged and gave the balance money. As we both exchanged pleasantries, the old man left. He actually disappeared because the distance between the house and the gate was more than 100 feet. He could not have gone out so soon. Most in- interesting part of the miracle was there was a dog in their house. The dog did not bark when the old man entered the house, nor did it bark when he entered, stepped out of the house. And when I asked the watchman who was at the gate, which side did the old man go? He drew a blank, saying he saw no one going inside, nor saw anyone going outside. I was again confused, speechless, terribly in shock. How could this be possible? I took my scooter and went in search of him, but in vain. The next day, when I visited my brother's house, my sister-in-law went into a trance and narrated the previous day's incident and positioned herself just like Baba in Dwaraka Mahipos. I was in tears. Totally a pleasant shock for me, a surprise for me. I was feeling so blessed. She told me that Baba came to my house and had food to eat and that he was pleased. Through her, Baba conveyed to me to have steadfast faith and single-minded devotion towards him. This Leela is unforgettable for me as Baba came home and had food in my own home, blessed me and above all took Dakshina of rupees 54, again totaling to rupees 9. I feel blissful because of this miracle in my life. Dear Sai devotees, please request, I request all of you to have the same kind of faith and belief and devotion towards Sai. Everything is possible for Sai. So may all all of you feel and have a blessed, blessed, beautiful life. This is my prayer and wish to Sai. For more audios, please visit saileelas.com. Om Sai Ram.